Hello everyone, good evening. So here I'll solve some KCT previous year questions on the chapter communication systems. So any doubts if you have in any steps of the solution, you can write that in the comments. To clarify them in the subsequent videos. And any other chapter of physics if you have more difficulty, it is mention the name of that chapter in the comments then we shall give more clarity on it and solve more and more questions from that chapter some important formal questions could be uploaded in the sapiens education application so please install our sapiens education application this link has been provided in the description so here we shall solve some from the first Told that a tuned amplifier circuit is used to generate a carrier frequency of the carrier frequency is 2 megahertz, if it is to 10 power 6 hertz. For the amplitude modulation, the value of root over LC is how much? So we know that new the frequency for an LC uh, frequency for LC oscillations is 1 by root lc 2 pi into nu to omega uh, the angular frequency of lc oscillations that is 1 by root lc so nu the frequency will be 1 by 2 pi root lc so we have to find the value of root over lc root over lc will be 1 by 2 pi into nu that will be equal to 1 by 2 pi into 2 into 10 power 6 Much again. This will be by 4 pi into 10 power. So option C is the correct answer. Then in question number 2, it is told amplitude modulation has amplitude modulation has one carrier wave with here we have one carrier wave and we have one lower side band frequency and one upper side band so it has one carrier wave with two side band so option c is the correct answer then in question number three it is told the waves used for line of sight communication is so the waves used for line of sight Space waves. So space waves are used for line of sight communication also, and in space communication also, and in satellite communication also. So the answer is option A. Question number four: It is told the process of super Posing message signal on high frequency carrier wave is called the frequency of superimposing message signal on a high frequency carrier wave. High frequency carrier wave called as called as modulation. <coughs> called as and D is the correct answer. In question number 5, it is told a basic communication system consists of which of the following. A basic communication system will consist, will consist of first one is the information source, then it will consist of a Transmitter, transmitter, consists of a scanner, receiver, consists of a receiver. Here we will have some user of
it means that the first will be B A and then D E B A D is okay. B is the correct answer. Question number six is going to rise the radius of the earth. Radius of the earth is six thousand four hundred kilometer. Height of an ant antenna. The height of an antenna. Height. That is five hundred meter. And its range is. What will be its range? The range of the antenna. Of the antenna will be given as square root of two R H, two R E into H. That will be square root of two into the radius of the Earth. So the square root of two into the radius of the Earth and the height of the antenna that is H. So radius of the Earth I can say just six point four to ten power three kilometer or six point four into ten power six meter. Point four into ten power six meter into height height of the you know that is five hundred meter. This is square root of six point four into into five hundred that is ten power three to ten power six. Meter. So this we can write it as square root of sixty four into ten power eight. Ten power nine so into ten I can do that is sixty four. Eight into ten power four meter, which is eight is eighty into ten power three meter, or I can say eighty kilometer. So option C is the correct. And in question number seven, it was an antenna uses electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves. And antenna uses electromagnetic waves. Option C five megahertz. For proper Working the size of the antenna should be so the rule is that size of the antenna size of the antenna should be equal to the size of the quarter wave should be the size of the should be equal to the size of the quarter wave it means that should be equal to one fourth the Wavelength, one fourth of the wavelength of that electromagnetic wave. So here, the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave that will be equal to c by v. So the speed of where c is the speed of light in vacuum. So that is three to ten power eight meter per second divided by. You can see that is five megahertz. So this is five into ten power six. Five into ten power six. Sorry. This will be equal to five six zero thirty. So zero point six into ten power two meter. Okay. Sixty meter. Therefore, the size of the antenna should be equal to the size of the quarter wave. One by four into so that is fifteen meter. And B is the correct answer. And question number eight is told. The phenomenon involved in the reflection of radio waves by ionosphere. So the radio waves, radio waves are reflected by the ionosphere. The so the ionosphere is the layer of the atmosphere. Here, um, so it is an example of the total internal reflection. Example of total internal reflection of light is here taking a yeah. it is an example of 
local internal description from from the ionosphere so it is same as the total internal reflection which happens in a option d is the correct so hope all of you have understood the solutions of all these eight questions and any doubts if you have then please write that in the comments section Please install our CPM certification application whose uh, link has been provided where we shall upload some important homework questions based on the previous year KCET exam which shall be helpful for you KCET. So thank you guys very much.